Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and this week I'm going to answer the question, what is Bernoulli's principle? If you've ever had a chance to talk to our now retired chief engineer, Leon Klustra, then you've heard about Bernoulli's principle. If you haven't heard about it, at its simplest, Bernoulli's principle says that for an incompressible fluid, when the velocity increases, the static pressure decreases, and vice versa, if the velocity decreases, the static pressure increases. It's really the basis of much of the HVAC industry. We use fans to create pressure that moves air through ductwork, then we reduce the size of the ductwork throughout the system until the air is distributed into the space through the grills and diffusers. So Bernoulli's equation looks like this. V squared divided by two plus GZ plus P divided by rho equals a constant. So now stay with me here, we're not gonna do a lot of math. V is velocity, G is the acceleration due to gravity, Z is the elevation, P is the pressure, make a little bit of room, and rho is the density. Now the equation takes into account gravity, elevation, and density, but for our HVAC purposes, these can be ignored. So let me make more room. Now a simplified version of Bernoulli's equation becomes P plus Q equals P naught. So here's the thing, P naught is the total pressure. Q is the dynamic pressure, or as we know it, velocity pressure and P is the static pressure. So now if you look at this the way we're familiar seeing it, you have static pressure plus velocity pressure equals total pressure. So who knew you've been using Bernoulli's equation all along? So if we look at some ductwork, and let's say we have one inch total pressure, 0.4 inches of velocity pressure and 0.6 inches of static pressure at this point in the ductwork, and then we reduce the ductwork down and say over here we still have one inch of total pressure because that hasn't changed, but now let's say our velocity pressure has gone to 0.7 inches and the static is 0.3. So this is Bernoulli's in action. As the diameter of the ductwork decreases, the velocity increases, and if you remember that very first equation I wrote kind of at the top of the page, we can't see it now, if velocity increases, static pressure decreases. If you look at it in the other direction, say you're going from the small end to the larger end, you would go from 0.3 static pressure to 0.6 static pressure, and if you remember from a previous podcast, this is known as static regain. So by changing the size of your ductwork, you have increased your static pressure, or regained static pressure. So that's the Bernoulli principle. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking the time out with us.